Hey everybody, it's been a little while since I've done a haul. And I think it's just because I've been trying to get my ish together. Life has been good. That's like the sound effect that best describes how my life has been for the past couple weeks. But getting my life together. And now that my life's a little bit more together, I'm ready for another haul. Today's haul is really cool. Ooh, my hair. I gotta fix my hair. I'll whip my hair back and forth. It just wanted out my face. Anyway, it's back up. Today's haul is kind of cool. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is some jewelry. This is a company called Ana Luisa. It comes in this really adorable little box here. Now the reason I'm showing you this jewelry is because I am working on this super sweet lookbook that is inspired by the pieces of jewelry in this box. So I'm going to unbox them and show them to you today. The cool thing about Ana Luisa is made in New York. It's handcrafted. The prices are really affordable for what the jewelry is. And it does have a one year warranty, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I just really like their jewelry and I'm excited that I'm going to get to partner with them on that lookbook. So I just wanted to show you guys the jewelry ahead of time, give you a little flavor of what's to come. Each of them come in these like little sachets, sachet, sachet. Is it a sachet? Cause when I think of sachet, I'm like sachet away. But like sash it this is not a word either. So I don't know what it is. Rogue hair just will not collaborate. It's working against me today. So, um, and there's like a little cleaning cloth in there too. The first pair, oh my goodness, how cute are those? I have to fix that hair. It's gonna drive me nuts. So how cute are these? They are such a cute earring. I'm just gonna put one in so you guys can see it on. How cute is that? I love that each of the earrings I got has such a different personality, which is why I wanted to do a lookbook with them. You can see it just has this like really lovely kind of like artsy personality. I feel like I'm going to an art gallery in these and they're just, they're just lovely. They're lovely. But that's not the only pair I got. In fact, I got four pairs. Again, four looks, lookbook. Oh, I'm so, so adorable. The next pair I got also in their little sachet. Is that what it's called? How about a little velvet envelope? Velvet envelope. Is this adorable pair, and I love them because it has a gold dot. I have to peel a little stickers off them, but I'm gonna wait until I film the lookbook. With this enamel that's like white with the gold mixed in, and if you look at them like up, oh, they're like big and bold, and I think these are like rich lady at the beach, right? And she's not at any beach. She's like at a, I can't put this in, like hold all these things in my hands at the same time and try putting it again. This is like a lady who's in Greece. She's like taking a cruise. She's got tons of money. She doesn't have a man because she don't need no man. And they're just, oh, I love them. It just screams Greece to me. Rich lady in Greece. So this next earring is young and hip and a little bit funky that eclectic girl that wears kind of a little bit of every style. I just think they're so fun. And I love it because gold is the color that looks best on me, but gold is also the most expensive. I think that just works out because life is trying to punish me by making everything that looks good on me expensive. But these are actually super affordable, which is great. Like literally super affordable. I was shocked, which is shocked, just said in a funny way. Boom, taking this earring off. And then I've got one more. This last pair is probably my favorite because this is like the weirdo pair of earrings. I shouldn't call them that because they're beautiful, but they're definitely like for someone that is just a little bit quirky. Like look how cute those are. See there, and what I like is at first I thought they were like hard, like they didn't have the movement, but I love them with the movement. And I just think I look so cool. All of them make me feel cool. But you'll still be you'll see better the styles of what I'm kind of working with for each of these when I actually make the lookbook, which will be in Miami. So I'm like really excited. It's gonna be really great. So if you wanna try them out, there's a link down below. They've got tons of different options. They have those enamel ones that I had on, the ones that were like Grecian, at least to me. And they have those in like a blue version too that are like, so pretty. If you want to try them out, uh, there's a link down below. You can get a discount with glitter10 is the code. I'm um, just sharing that with you guys. Obviously, they are sponsoring the lookbook, uh, but I wanted to show you guys the product beforehand so you guys like could get you excited about it because I'm like so excited about it and the looks are so good. They're so good, and you'll see how like I brought the personality of the earrings to life. Like sometimes I'm like proud of what I've done, and I think this is one of those instances where I am, and so I wanted to hype you up. 
Wow, it was crazy when I did that, it like got brighter. And I was like, wow, the camera understands. So now we need to jump into all of the clothing. So I've got a bunch of different clothing that I've pulled for these lookbooks in Miami. There is more clothing that I've actually gotten shipped to my hotel in Miami. So if you guys want, I will do a hotel haul in the future. <laughs> That hotel is going to literally think I have a shopping problem because I was like, waited till the last minute and shipped it all to the hotel. It's crazy. But here are the things I've gotten thus far that actually came to my house. Cool? Cool. So the first is this and it like looks kind of crazy here. This fringe skirt from Illiqui. I got this because they had this in a dress. <laughs> Leave me alone, fringe. Um, I, they had this in a dress virgin at virgin. They had this in a dress version and um, I just felt like it wouldn't work for my body type just because my waist, hip, it just wouldn't work. It, I wouldn't be able to get the right fit on the top and the bottom that it needed for like this to work. But then they came out with a skirt edition and I was like, I can still have it. So I got this amazing, amazing fringe skirt. It's bodycon. It does have a little stretch to it, but not a ton because the um, sewing on of the fringe makes the part where the fringe is sewn on not like stretchy. So while there's a ponty knit underneath it, it doesn't like stretch um, the way that it would if it were like a full ponty because of the sewn on fringe. It's got a nice little weight, waistband zipper and it's ponty knit with just like fringe everywhere. Just fringe. Let's just get a little, little slow-mo. How much fun is this skirt? Shake ah! what your mama gave ya. <laughs> this next item was probably purchased unsober, AKA not sober, AKA bibida, which is Spanish or Portuguese for drunk. This is a two piece set from Charlotte Russe. We've got a pink bralette thing. And then these lovely neon pink bike shorts. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna wear this. I don't know why the hell I bought it. But I felt like I would show it to you guys because <laughs> this is reality. I don't know, I really do like neon so I probably will find a way to work it in but I, um, I don't think it can be worn just as a set. I think it needs like some, some is the right word. <laughs> is weird. Why did I buy this? And it's literally just like normal athletic fabric that's shiny and neon. It's a look. Um, I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I kind of like it. Like I could think it'd be really fun like as like a cheeky workout outfit. I definitely need like a tank over it. Maybe I could get like some amazingly cheesy Miami like t-shirt, like tank top with it like cut out. I mean this could, this could be a phenomenal look. It's just the basis of the look, not the whole look. So the next two items are from Simply Be, and literally they are from Simply Be because I just haven't shopped there in a while and I was like, mm, gotta check it out. And I saw this and I was like, okay, I need cover-ups. I'm doing a swim lookbook while in Miami. So this is a white, gauzy, um, it's like a gauzy pattern not pattern, it's a, like a gauzy fabric, like a cheesecloth fabric. It's got a waist that is like ruched or smocked. And then the neckline is tied in the back and it's just kind of a little bit oversized. And then you've got some nice lattice style details in the front. I mean, it's pretty much like a, the perfect summer cover up. Maybe even something you could wear as a dress on its own as well. So I just thought this would be perfect for like featuring it with the lookbook. That's when I got it, the lookbook. Look, it's a book, it's a lookbook, lookbook book. So I think it's pretty obvious that this is not a dress. This is definitely a cover up. It's really, really gauzy and you can see everything underneath it, including my little bike shorts that I try on in and my bra. So uh, it's definitely something to be worn over a swimsuit only. <laughs> but that said, it's very adorable and also from Simply Be, I got this um, pleated skirt. It's color blocked, but it's color blocked with like pattern. So we have this floral pattern, then this emerald green, this striped, and then this black, and then it is all pleated and has an elastic waistband. It is about a midi length, so it's gonna hit like mid calf on me. And um, I just really liked the color combination. I liked this pink and green. 
combination. I thought it would look really cute. I have a fun idea on how I'm gonna style this, and I liked it because it was pleated. That's gonna make it lightweight. It's gonna have the fabric be a little flowy. That looks good on camera. And uh, the colors were fabulous. I love this pink, I love this green, and I, I think that they're good colors on me, so that's why I picked it. The fabric is a little bit weird. It's almost like silky, like a fake satin. Like, I really fall in love with this skirt when I put it on. Like, when it wasn't on, I was like, okay. But just seeing the movement and all of the different colors, and it just makes me a lot happier on than it did when I was opening it. I just love this, like, oh, yes. Another store you guys have been asking me to try out is Dolls Kill, which I did get a couple items from. I got some Daisy hair clips that are bomb, but I don't know where they are because they're like buried in my suitcase, but they're like little Daisy clips. Those are epic. I wish I could find them to show you, but I will link them down below. I got this dress. It's a pink dress with like this cutout, which looks a little weird because it's very clear that they are A, not making their own plus clothing, they're buying plus clothing and then selling it under their name, and B, whoever they're buying from does not really make for plus women, and I'll talk about why. In both this and another piece I got, the length of this sports bra-ish part top, or the top that's supposed to cover your chest, is frankly just not long enough for a plus person. Uh, it when we talk about going up in size, we go up in size this way, but we also go up in size like length as well because our boobs have more curvature to them, so you need to have more fabric. Now, I can work this over my chest because I'm queen of the itty bitty titty committee, but the average plus girl probably isn't gonna be able to make this work, and that was a little disappointing for me. Additionally, they are a bit short and a bit smaller than a typical 3X would normally be. So overall, they might be good for a piece once in a while, but their fit is a little wonk, and it's inconsistent because it's not their fit. It's literally brands that they've sourced that may or may not be experienced in making plus size clothing. So I love the color of this dress, but I do not know what bra would fit underneath this with the armholes coming this far forward and the scoop being this low. And I just don't know what I'd be able to wear underneath it to like actually be able to wear it. I think I have like a, like a bandeau, but still that's going to look weird. I'm gonna try to make it work, but it just feels like they haven't cut for a plus body, like I said, because if you just put the fabric a little bit longer here, you could have like a cute pop out with a bra here that happens in a lot of plus clothes, but like, <laughs> where are you, fabric? <laughs> Why are you not here? I'll show you another item I got from them that also had the same uh, lack of length, which <laughs> really causes a problem. I was excited about this top. Like, I was pumped about it. It's velvet. It's got this crazy organza. And I thought, whoa, this is going to be so cool. However, when I put this over my chest, you can see here, I have about this much length to cover my whole bosom. And it's just not enough. It's not enough. I can barely get it over it. I could probably use it for a photo. But after that photo, if I moved, if I stretched, if I put my hands in the air, ladies be out. Like fully out. So while the, the design idea is really cool, the actual execution for a plus body is kind of bleh. Like, unless you're trying to get some, oh, you could have like a Janet Jackson moment real easy with this. It's real easy. Um, you'll see it on, and hopefully it'll stay down for the try-on part. Who knows? It's a surprise in the making. This shirt is terrible. My bra is popping out both at the top and here at the bottom. It's just not made right for a plus body. It's sad because it could look really cool, but it just looks like I'm wearing like a tiny, a tiny top. It is not good looking. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> with the passion. The one item I got from Dolls Kills that I was actually really, really impressed with was this top. And I now know that it's from a brand called Poster Girl. So if I'm looking for this, I can look for that brand. I liked it because it was a very different crop. It's a little bit longer than normal. Um, and it's got this nice color blocking and then also has this fun little buckle detail right at the top. I felt like it was a very modern take. It's made out of your traditional like sport, um, 
stretch fabric, like that moisture wicking stretch fabric for that you would get in like athletic pants, but it's in a crop. And I just thought it was a really smart design, a really versatile design as far as what you can wear it with. Um, and the sizing was a little bit smaller, but not terribly smaller than what you would expect for this size. I got a 3X, typically in some stores I wear a 2X. This 3X is on a little bit on the smaller side. Usually if I get like a 3X in the top, it's a little bit on the bare side, especially in this area, not so much down towards the hips. So the fact that it's fitted up here makes me think that if you're in between sizes, definitely size up, don't size down in this top. But I think it's a really cool looking top. It gives a kind of like sporty race car driver feel in a very like fashion forward way. This is probably my favorite item from Dolls Kill. It's the one that fits the best. It's really comfortable and I do think it's just really unique in design and I'm excited to style it. So I had this rule with myself that if I filed my 1099s, which is like part of taxes and was terrifying and I had no clue what I was doing and it took a lot of work, that I could buy myself this workout outfit on Nike. Sometimes I do that, I incentivize myself. And I bought the workout outfit, but Nike's pants just don't fit me well. They're way too big in the in the waist, and if I buy the size for my thighs, they don't stay up. But I absolutely fell in love with the top. So this is like a um, athletic mesh you know, like literally jersey fabric, as you can see, like the little pinholes, so it's moisture, I don't know what you call that, like the air can get out the holes. The air goes out the holes. It's got this awesome ticking tape down the side of the sleeve, little sport rib at the top, it's cropped, it's in a fun like tropical print, and it's just awesome. I love it so much. So while the pants were the biggest bust in the century, and I'll link them down below because if you are an apple, they will probably work very, very well for you. If you are a pear or an hourglass, eh, they may not. Definitely if you're a pear, they probably won't work. If you're an hourglass, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But um, I just had to get it, so <laughs> it was my little present. I'm glad that this worked out because the pants were such a sad failure. And they're in this same pattern and they have like a cool like mesh stripe up the side. They're actually really cool looking pants. It was kind of a bummer, but I like this so much that it made up for it. I absolutely love the vibe of this shirt. It's so fun, it's so comfortable. I can go out and exercise in it, but I can feel like hip and cool. I just love it. I also really like Nike. I know I'm a brand whore, but whatever. I just like it, okay? <laughs> then I got two things from Boohoo. The first thing I got was this pink and red pleated skirt. Um, this feels so incredibly cheap. And you know, sometimes with Boohoo, that's what happens. Like some of the things you're like, this is amazing. And sometimes you're like, who the hell made this? This is terrible. That's how I feel about this skirt. The waist is really small compared to other items I've purchased from them. This fabric just like feels terrible. Like the other pleated skirt I showed you earlier in the haul, like I don't love the fabric, but I don't hate the fabric. This I hate. It feels cheap. It just feels terrible and I hate it. But aesthetically, I think it's really cute still. I just, I don't know what to do with it because part of me wants to style a look with it, but part of me feels like that's really dishonest because it's, I would never recommend buying the skirt. I think it just feels just so like scratchy, like a scratchy rayon and that's just not a good experience for anyone. You're putting it on, trying it on, I'm still, I'm not sold on it. It's just kind of, I don't know if it has enough volume or if it falls right, it's just, it's not, I'm not loving it, but I'm also not hating it. It's this weird, icky in between. On the other hand, I got this dress from Boohoo and I was like, mm, 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 because it is orange, my fave color, neon, like super hot right now, we all know. And it's this one shoulder ribbed dress. It is so comfortable. It is so bright. It is a little bit weird because of this one shoulder, it's just me. And it's a midi dress, so it like covers and is like, it's, you know, it's sexy, but it's also not too revealing. I just loved this. As much as I disliked that skirt, I loved this dress. And that's how I constantly feel about Boohoo. I don't know if anybody else has this experience. It's like 50% of the things I'm like, yes! And the other 50% I'm like, why are you punishing me? What have I done to you? But this was definitely a good little treat. 
So you're gonna see this in a lookbook coming soon, faux show. I already got it all planned out. I've got everything planned out. It's gonna be fantastic. My lookbooks that are coming up are fire, are fire. We got that fire, fire. Sorry, I'm like super excited. So I know this color isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I love this dress. It's super comfortable. I love orange. And I think I look boom, ba -da boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Whatever that translates to. So. <laughs> a little crazy today thank you so much for watching this haul um links to everything are down below again if you want to try Anna Luisa there is a $10 discount code down in the box and it'll be right at the top so you can get it fairly easily and thank you guys for watching I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day keep your eyes peeled for those lookbooks because I am really excited about them and really proud of them because I put a lot of work into it. Sometimes you gotta work hard for it. There's a lot of different songs that have the title work. That's just the one that first came to my head. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.